There is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood considering it surgical anatomy station, kindly tell me how would you divide or how would you, if you can tell me how many triangles yes, there are in the neck and how would uh, you first of all, the, uh, yes, uh, First of all, there are two major triangle, anterior yes. and the posterior triangle. And uh, anterior triangle is further subdivided into uh, 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 four triangles, that is sub some mandibular or digastric triangle, carotid triangle, and the uh, middle uh, uh, muscular triangle. While the okay. posterior triangle is divided by the inferior belly formide, by the occipital triangle and the supraclavicular triangle. Right. Uh, in this diagram, there is uh, certain numbers written by 1 to 13. These are pointing out at certain structures. If you can identify, please, this number yes. one is. Yeah, it is the posterior belly of the digastric. Okay. And uh, number, number two? two is carotid triangle. Three, number please. three is uh, occipital triangle, posterior okay. triangle. Four, please. Uh, Sternocleidomastite. Very good. Five. Inferior omohyoid. Very good. Six. Six trapezius. Seven. As, where is the seven? Which, here, here, uh, here, here, here. Here. Yes. It is not mentioned in yes, my... Yes, this is the yeah, triangle, this triangle, you know? triangle. Supraclavicular yes. triangle. Supraclavicular so, triangle. triangle. Eight, yes. please. It's this triangle. It, it is muscular. Nine is the no. uh, superior belly of homo Okay. And Nine ten is, is heart. Uh, and uh, ten is the bone. Eleven? Bone. Eleven is the submental triangle. Yes. And twelve, this is muscle. Twelve, anterior belly of digastric. And thirteen? Uh, some mandibular triangle or Very digastric good. triangle. Can you please tell me the contents of carotid tri uh, triangle? Yes, it is the common carotid artery and the uh, internal carotid artery, internal jugular vein, vagus nerve, hypoglossal nerve, ansa cervicalis, lymph nodes. These okay. are the. Can you please tell me the in innovation of the omohoid muscle? Yes, omohoid is supplied by the. Uh, uh, nerve to uh, answer cervicalis. Okay. Yes, answer cervicalis. Can you tell me where does the carotid uh, vessels enter? Carotid vessel, where it is entered? Uh, uh, yes. Where does it enter? The brain. Brain, yes. Uh, uh, internal carotid artery enter uh, through the carotid canal and then passes. Uh, over the formal lacerum to the median part of the cavernous sinus, then goes towards the anterior canonite process, then turn back and branch. All right, good. Can you uh, please identify the structures from A to G in this diagram? Can you identify A, please? A, a superior thyroid artery. Okay, and this uh, F is which order? This F, uh, thyroid gland, uh, right yes. lobe of the thyroid. What is E, e please? Is thymus. Okay. Can you tell me what are the parts of the thyroid gland? Thyroid gland has the two lobes interconnected by the isthmus. Okay. And maybe pyramidal lobe. Yes. Can you tell me the blood supply of the thyroid gland, please? Uh, a superior thyroid artery from the external carotid artery and the inferior thyroid artery by the thyroid cervical trunk. That is the branch of first subclavian artery, first part of subclavian artery. What is the venous drainage of thyroid gland, please? Venous drainage Hello? of thyroid. Yes, venous drainage of thyroid gland, please. 
what are you saying madam venous venous drainage venous drainage yes superior uh, thyroid vein uh, to external internal jugular vein then the middle thyroid vein internal jugular vein and the inferior thyroid vein to the uh, uh, brachiocephalic vein okay can you please tell me what does the recurrent laryngeal nerve supply uh, all the muscle of the larynx except the cricothyroid muscle and the uh, lower part sensation to the lower part of below the vocal cords all right can you please tell me very quickly uh, what are the nerves which are at risk while doing thyroidectomy uh, re recurrent laryngeal nerve and the external laryngeal nerve okay can you please tell me the embryology of the thyroid gland how thyroid does gland. the thyroglossal cyst forms thyroid gland uh, develops from the uh, lingual thyroid at the foramen cecum and Very then good. it goes uh, anteriorly to the thyroid cartilage and then track downward even to the mediastinum and when uh, the uh, duct is not closed it forms the thyroglossal cyst in the midline of the neck all right okay can you please tell me what is the vertebral level of the thyroid cartilage thyroid cartilage is a uh, uh, yes, that's important. It is the C4, C4, C5. Yes, C4, C5. Okay, yes. can you please tell me why thyroid moves with deglutition? Because it is attached to the ligamentum berry and the prethyroid uh, fascia is also attached to the thyroid gland and the trachea and esophagus. Okay. And thyroid capsule and pretracheal fascia attached to the trachea and the esophagus and very ligament is also attached to the tracheal rings. Can you tell me which thyroid cancer of thyroid spreads via lymphatics? Uh, papillary carcinoma by lymphatics, and? Uh, follicular, uh, and the local invasion and the uh, follicular by the blood vessel. Blood uh, I just flow. asked you lymphatics, papillary. Lymphatic. What about the medullary carcinoma of thyroid? It is spread mostly to the lymphatics and maybe due to hematogenesis spread. All right. Can you, okay, once thyroid, thyroidectomy has been done, can you tell me the complications? Yes, it is the uh, specific complication, general complication, specific complication. Immediate and late, if immediate. you can classify yes. like this and tell me, please. Uh, immediate is the uh, hemorrhage. Uh, uh, recurrent laryngeal nerve injuries, uh, external laryngeal nerve injury, tracheal injury, esophageal injury, and uh, and uh, the uh, late is the scar formation and uh, um, uh, scar formation, hypocalcemia, and uh, wound infection, and uh, and there may be some uh, anesthesia related complication, opioids and GA related complications, and may most important is this uh, surgical hematoma, which is very immediate complication. All right. These thyroid glands are posteriorly related to another set of glands. Can you name them, please? Uh, parathyroid glands. How many they are in number? Uh, superior inferior parathyroid gland, four in number. What what are their locations, if you can tell me precisely? Yes, uh, post, uh, superior thyroid gland is mostly location. It is at the fourth uh, C4 level, but the... Uh, uh, Inferior thyroid gland are variable, maybe C5 and maybe behind the thyroid gland capsule. All right. Can you tell me about the superior thyroid artery? Uh, which, which structures are closely related to it? External laryngeal nerve is very close to it. Okay. Good. Yes. All uh, right. And what structures are closely related to the bifurcation of external ECN? Uh, external? Laryngeal? Uh, no. Okay, I lost the question. Sorry. Okay, we'll move on with the next image. So, okay. If you can tell me what this red is, if you can identify. Yes, yes. Is it ex external carotid artery? Yes. Can you tell me the extent? Of it, the landmark? Yes, uh, okay. landmark is bifurcate, common carotid artery bifurcate upper upper level of the uh, thyroid cartilage and then it uh, gives uh, eight branches and terminate into maxillary and terminal artery 
uh, and it passes behind the temporomandibular joint in toward, uh, into the uh, parotid gland and then it divides. Good. And if you can... Stylopharynges the behind the stylopharynges. Yes, it is the uh, external jugular vein. Very good. If you can tell me about that as well. This is, this is, it is the spinal part of accessory, accessory nerve. It is accessory nerve. Good. Thank you. Yes. Thank you.